Hi, welcome to my channel and uh, thank you to those who are returning. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Usually I'm playing the piano in my videos, but I wanted to introduce you to my day job. I work as a piano technician, uh, which means tuning uh, and reconditioning and offering various restoration services for all the pianos in my area, which keeps me quite busy. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at some of the things that a typical piano will involve. So every week I take on new pianos for new clients, and I'd say this is representative of half of them that fall under that category of classic old upright piano. I'll tell you a little bit about this piano first, but this video is mostly about what we're going to do with it. It's a Woodbury, which was built in Boston. Truth be told, I don't really know a whole lot about this make. I'll add some details in the description. There's the serial number. Beautiful artwork on this painted plate. Here is some music that was written close to the time this piano was built. We'll use this as a before-after comparison. This piano is pretty worn out, but there's a judgment call to be made with projects like this on whether the piano has the capacity to be worth the effort. And this one does. There's a decent amount of felt left on these hammers, and the leather components are not too disintegrated and worn out uh, to provide a pleasing touch. When I first looked at this piano, one thing I noticed was tubby sounding bass strings. This happens when the windings on the strings collect dust and corrosion. There's a method to remedy that called twisting the strings. And I will do that on a note or two typically to find out if twisting makes a difference. On this piano, it does. Listen to this note that I twisted. And then compare it to its neighbor. So I will go through and twist all of these bass strings. So I've removed all the bass strings, except for the two that I already twisted. I've brushed off the old ones, and then turned the old strings like a wheel up their length to open them up and get all the dust out. The first note already sounds great. When I reinstall the string, I give it a turn at this hitch in the direction that the winding goes, and that helps to tighten the winding around the core wire. What a big sound this soundboard still has. I am amazed by how these bass strings sound relative to how they did before.
nice. Normally you shouldn't touch these strings with your bare fingers because it causes rust, but on old strings it doesn't really make much of a difference. This is actually pretty not dusty for the age. I work on a lot of pianos that are a lot younger than this and way more dusty, so here we go! This is my preferred setup for cleaning out the dust on these old pianos. I have a regular shop vac with the hose on the output so it blows, and that's usually enough to get most of the dust out. So here's a mark that confirms this piano was built uh, in 1905. So these are toast. Someone's gone in and replaced these uh, felts with these green felts that you see, and left the rest of them either moth-eaten or completely gone. So we're going to have to replace all of these. I noticed that there is a little bit of writing on these paper shims that are used to determine the height of the keys. So we're going to unscrew this whole keyframe and take a little peek just for curiosity's sake. Now we're going to tighten this row of 88 screws, that row of 88 screws, and then another one in front. <laughs> 